In need of nourishment, Joe and Matt go on the hunt for food, with energy levels already compromised. Any activity in the thin atmosphere of 10,000 feet forces the heart to work harder to deliver oxygen to the body, which burns calories at rates up to 28% faster than at sea level. I saw some fish earlier as we're traveling down the creek, so I'm gonna go down and see if I can spot any. I'm trying to keep my profile low so I don't spook any possible fish. And uh, sure enough, I see a really nice sized fish. It looks like a trout. Trout, they're hunters. They have really good eyesight. They're very keen on their surroundings. So you have to stalk and be really careful with your approach. I'm gonna go try to make a thrusting spear or something that I can get it. Maybe an outlet. Earlier, I grabbed a few things out of the pack that I think will make a great fishing dart. I built lots of outlatles but out of materials that I'm familiar with. So I'm kind of brainstorming how to put that all together. The atlatl is an ancient tool that uses leverage to propel a dart much faster and farther than a one-handed throw. In prehistoric times, they were used by humans hunting everything from fish and deer to bear and woolly mammoths. If you found something like this and you didn't have sharpened stakes, even creating an edgy, blunt tip will kill a fish. Having multiple spikes splayed out actually pins the fish down inside there and also creates a little bigger surface area to hit the fish. All right, that feels pretty good right there. I see a nice sized trout. The lighting's kind of weird, but I'm like, okay, I got this fish. When a dart goes in the water, it has refraction, so you have to actually aim below the fish quite a bit. There's a reflection on the water. It's hard to see how deep the fish is. Water bends light, making objects appear closer to the surface than they actually are. Standing approximately 10 feet from the fish, Matt needs to aim four inches below and three inches closer than where his eyes see the fish. Sure enough, it's a good solid shot. And all of a sudden I notice another fish darts right into this pool right in front of me. So I carefully step back and I, I grab my equipment. It's like, all right, you know, now we got two fish. Joe gets his own fish and I get a fish. 